Hello and welcome to Benz Addiction, Mercedes-Benz R170 and R129, as well as W140 Mercedes, some of them has the cooling fan for the uh, module box over there. It should be on the other side of your engine if you are not living in Australia or England. This fan is very crucial for the proper function of uh, engine ECU and other modules like the K40 which has many problems with the soldering issue and this fan not working can also cause issues in terms of heating up and even accelerating the uh, this issue of uh, dry solder points. So the fan usually lives here underneath the modules over here and the, there is a duct that goes underneath the carpet uh, inside the cabin so it can take some fresh cool and clean air to bring into the ECU box and doesn't contaminate uh, the whole ECUs with dust and debris. Non-function of this fan over there can cause your ECU and other modules to overheat in uh, warmer climates and uh, overheating ECU might cause the engine to stumble and not work properly and after let's say an hour or half an hour start showing improper idle and improper and slow acceleration. So I found out that there is no video on the cooling fan of the module box so while I was messing with it I realized that mine was not working as well. So let's get into it and find out a solution for a non-functioning cooling fan for the module box. So you need to remove both the ECU and the ASR module to be able to access this fan over here. You see, this is the suction duct that takes the uh, air from inside the cabin under the carpet. And this is how the fan goes back. So you need to put that duct into the inlet of the fan and it blows all the way to the top and it actually cools down all of the modules, including the K40, the ASR module, the convenience module, and the ECU itself. So very important role, especially in uh, high temperature climate, a fan unit over here that I have actually dismantled. This fails after some time and leads to more problems. M motor over here only pulls 500 milliamp. It's not even fused and if it stops working, it might end up damaging your uh, convenient module over here. To remove this connector for this, which you don't have to remove it, you need to pull out this connector from here completely and then from the other side release it. But if you are chasing to buy one of these complete units on eBay, you will end up paying like more than $100 and the new units are not available. This cooling fan was discontinued on the SLKs after 2001 or two. But the thing is that the ECU uh, model changed to ME 2.8. So this is ME 2.1. One, if I'm not wrong. So you definitely need this. So what you can do instead of paying $100 for a used fan unit, you can buy these motors on eBay or AliExpress for like $3. These are uh, Johnson uh, 12 volts, 500 milliamp motors. And if I compare this with what I have over here, you'll see that this is an exact match, even uh, even the shape of it. So it's very straightforward to put back this all the way, just easy to dismantle and I don't really need to explain how to do it, but make sure to connect up uh, in a same uh, format that is connected, meaning that the direction of the rotation sh is very important over here and you don't want to end up pulling air and not pushing it. So if I connect up temporarily this old fan, uh, when you switch on the ignition, this fan starts working. So it's permanent kind of working all the time. 
And as you can see, the brushes are not good. As soon as I push on the shaft of the motor, it starts rotating and the rotation, if you hold the motor like this, the rotation is clockwise. So you need to connect up this motor to these two wires and have a clockwise rotation. Also, it's a very good idea to install a fuse in line with this wiring because this is not fused and if you end up burning this motor, you might end up with a burnt out convenience module. To mention one more time that this motor and the blower fan runs when you switch on the ignition. So it's always should be running and you should always be receiving 12.5 volts when the car is not running and 14 volts when the car is running. Is another tip you see these uh, motor uh, regulators you can adjust the speed of the motor according to what you want and what you think should be based on the temperature and based on uh, the condition of weather uh, in your region so this is like a two dollar also uh, kit that you can buy from eBay or Aliexpress and you see there is a uh, there is a 4.5 volts to 35 volts range that you can uh, apply the power and get uh, so basically this one change the current of the motor not the voltage so basically you can limit this motor to 200 milliamp if you want and that significantly can reduce the uh, noise and the motor life for that fan and you can also make sure that the battery won't get flat when you switch on the ignition for a longer period of time with this because the consumption would be less okay now let's look at this together i can turn this off all the way if i want and if i want all the way to 12 volts and it's blowing a very good amount of air and if i want i can leave it halfway or even less i now put an enclosure for this because i just don't want that 12 volt to contact to anything else and you can even adjust it to a more high speed and you see it can blow a lot of air CFM so there you have it so this is the way you can make yourself a good uh, adjustable fan for your ECU box and you're not going to pay more than hundred dollars for a used unit which is probably going to fail very soon okay guys I hope this video has been helpful Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Have a great day. Bye. Phil.